Welcome back to Beers Aquatics. Today we're going to be redecorating the Fiddler Crab tank uh, by just getting a lot more sand um, and putting like some PVC pipes in there so they can crawl around and under. But before we do that, I want to show you we, I redecorated the five gallon and it's a lot brighter now. Uh, and you can see the frogs and everything is a lot more bright when they're out, uh, but they're all hiding right now. So yeah, we did that and so let's get right into uh, redecorating that tank. Three 10 pound bags of uh, sand and how you wash them basically. You cut, uh, cut off corner, cut off corner and the water going all the way through. You just let it go in one corner and so I'm gonna rinse this off now. all the sand out right here um just super naturals uh, uh ph neutral it's clean uh fresh oil salt water the 10 pound bags and it comes with this little clearing thing that you put in the water to make it clear up quicker um i have stuff to put the crabs in which i'm going to do next and so it's good to have a wet paper towel in there just because they can uh, stay moist and um i have the aquarium salt right here which is what i'm going to use to make the water brackish uh so i'll go get out the crabs right now there's a wet paper towel right in here, it's just so you can stay wet. Um, oops, I'm gonna try to get the biggest crab first. And I have a cover for it right there, if you can see this. Um, I'm just gonna try to grab them out with my hand, try not to get pinched. Never done it before, but we'll see how it goes. Try to go for the biggest one here first. Just hope not to get pinched right now. Pick up hole, he's flipped himself. Flip him back up. And I'm just gonna try to just. Okay, so we're gonna go for the small one, this one, I guess. Quickly. Just always wanna watch, cause it can pinch you and they get really scared. So I'll get to you when I get that one in there. That one, what I did uh, was I just tried to. I just put this on the ground, kind of guided him into it in the end. You can see he's pinched onto the paper towel right now so uh yeah i'm gonna do that with one of the smaller ones now and we'll see if i can do it that was the first one we got it's got a cover on so he shouldn't get out and this one right here i'm gonna try to just push him over this way get him off the dock i'm gonna remove this rock because i'm gonna have to remove all the decorations either way because i'm gonna put a lot more sand in here but yeah he kind of put himself in the corner if you can see that so I need a pinch, so handsome's gonna try to let him crawl in there by himself. He realizes it. And looks like he's not wanting to, but let's try to give him push him from the back here. And there he goes. He's in there. And I have number two. In his little cup. Oh not yet. I had to cover it up. Now he is secure in there. So I two of the three crabs. This one I feel like it's going to be hardest because it's a giant thing, and this one likes to hide, so I'm going to have to take out the hiding spots first, and then I'll have to get them. Like, the claws don't look very sharp, but they are. Like, whenever they're eating a the fish, it goes straight through the fish, their small claw, and their big claw just uh, holds it, and I don't want to know how that feels, so I'm just going to try to take, play it safe. Because I'm hoping I never have to be pinched by these things. So uh, I'll show you when I get this guy. All the decorations are out. All the crabs are out. Um, and now I'm just going to work on putting in the sand. And then we'll work on the waterfall after I want to kind of put in there. But I'm going to put in the sand right now. is in there i'm gonna let it dry for a bit and then i'm gonna escape it out uh just because it's really hard to escape out right now when it's really wet uh so yeah i'll get back to you when the sun escapes so it's dried out a little bit you can kind of see it's like a nice gentle slope i'm gonna go get some fill up some water and put it up to like maybe right there ish of water and there that land right there um it's a lot of sand right there it's 45 pounds 
but I'm going to bury like PVC pipes and I'm going to put a little bit of sand in there because they can't just walk on plain PVC pipes or they'll slip. So I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, sand in the PVC piping. So first I'm just going to fill this with water up to about there, about there, and then we'll, uh, I'll get back to you. Water level's up. Uh, there's still quite a bit of land on there. Um, I'm going to go put the decorations in now and then I'll show you that once they're all in. I have all the decorations in, now I'm just going to try to do like a waterfall with the filter. So I'll get back to you when that's done now and then that should be done with the tank. This is the final product for right now. Kind of just see it's kind of thrown on and everything. Um, I'll put the crabs in and then I'll probably uh, show you the rest tomorrow as it clears. I'm going to move stuff around. It's kind of just a humble jumble of like hiding spots and things to crawl over and stuff. Um, and yeah, there's moss balls in there. So, I'll show you it probably tomorrow. But it's the next day, and you can see it's pretty active. They eat off those a lot. Um, and right there, and another one right there. The small one likes to hide in the coral. He'll hide in a bunch of different spots that other ones can't. They go into the PVC pipe quite a bit. Um, this, we, I lowered some of the water. It's a lot more clear. It's a lot more natural, because you think at a beach, there's going to be a lot of rocks and plants everywhere. Uh, so... They seem to like it. I might get a few females now, just to lower aggression, just in case there is any. Uh, but yeah, that's the crab tank. So, uh, took a little bit to make, probably about an hour, but it was worth it. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.